Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. It is September 16th, 2024. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. There was another earthquake there in Malibu, a magnitude 3.6. I think USGS revised it. They said originally it was a, a 3.5. They have had 54 earthquakes in that location within the last week, seven days. Here's the location of that 3.6. This sequence of earthquakes all started back on the 12th when there was a magnitude 4.7, intensity level 5. 18,576 people sent in reports to USGS Did You Feel It website. This morning's magnitude 3.6, 1,239 people so far have sent in reports. They gave it an intensity level of 4, which means it was felt indoors by many people, outdoors by a few. At night, they would have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors were rattling. Automobiles would have rocked noticeably. Let me know if you felt this earthquake. How long did it last? What did the motion feel like the earthquake occurred at 422 again a.m. local time in my last report I talked about how this is between two different plates it's not far from the St. Andreas fault zone which is to the north this line right here is the Malibu coast fault and then we got the Santa Monica fault down below geologists do know that this area is capable of having a very large earthquake possibly a magnitude 7 to a 7.5. And any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. If there was a large earthquake um, on either of these fault zones, it would definitely trigger earthquakes on adjacent fault zones. Yeah, and California has really been rocking and a-rolling. Last night, yesterday, there was a magnitude 6.3 along the uh, Queen Charlotte Fault Zone and the Cascadia Fault Zone, a magnitude 6.3. Also recently, there was a uh, magnitude 3.4 earthquake that shook San Jose. That was about 3.15 p.m. on Friday. That earthquake was along the Calaveras and Hayward Faults. Yeah, that's another area that is really overdue. Also, two days ago, we had an X flare, an X4.3 solar flare. And large solar flares can affect our weather. They affect people's health, um, heart, breathing, blood pressure. Um, yeah, I was surprised when I was doing some more research on this yesterday. It even affects your um, glucose levels. Here's that um, X4.5 and looks like we got something coming in now a small c-class flare um, a c5 it's coming from a sunspot area that is uh, projected to be highly active so hopefully we don't have larger x flares much like they had with the carrington event the carrington event occurred with a gigantic solar burst from the sun back in 1859 so powerful it was luckily we didn't have electronics back then because all electronics would have been fried but it actually did shut um set the wires for um telegraph on fire the other problem because of these solar flares if we did have a large solar flare because of the weakening of our earth magnetic field that protects us from solar radiation it means we would be impacted um, by that solar radiation all the way down to the sunlit side of the earth Yeah, you would have power outages and anything connected to the grid of electronics would be fried And then also you would have have the effects upon your health In May of this year 2024 the San Francisco Chronicle had an article about northern lights solar storms affecting your health studies have found a surprising link i'll give you a link to this page and you can read it yourself in intense geomagnetic activity we observed an increase in heart rate variability reduction of 
um, congenitive function, increase of blood pressure, pressure, and adverse health outcomes for pregnant women. So that's just some of the effects. Uh, this was done by, um, let's see, research from Harvard, I believe. Even when solar activity is not visible to the naked eye, such as seeing auroras, the body can still be affected by the changes of the electromagnetic radiation spectrum. People with chronic diseases who are more sensitive to um, circulatory rhythms disruptions such as the elderly and people with diabetes may be affected more than healthy people. The list of the effects keeps going on and on. And yeah, besides that, it can create earthquakes. If it's ready to go, it's going to go. So like I said, any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. I hope people are prepared for disasters. Um, if there was a large earthquake, you could have a tsunami. Speaking of tsunamis, no tsunami uh, warning was sent out for that 6.3. That, But we do have three buoys that were going off. Uh, we got this one here, which is for uh, um, Alaska. We got another one for British Columbia, Canada. And I was surprised to see this one for Northwest Seattle. Yeah, they were all registering um, a wave height increase. Do you have a bug out kit for a large earthquake? Like I said, there by San Jose, there was a recent earthquake. Um, Columbia, uh, British Columbia, Canada, and now this in Malibu that is ongoing. 55 earthquakes there in Malibu. And I talked about all the homes that are right on the beaches down there. Uh, more recently, there was a 2.8. Yes, be prepared. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.